hi there scorpio scorpio sun moon and rising sign this is your july 2020 love monthly forecast reading with me chrissy from in the stars by chrissy.com so for this month of july we're doing things a little bit of differently wherein we're just checking in with the energy that is unfolding for us for the month and how are we going to be navigating this how we should or we shouldn't be navigating this it's just more an advice kind of energy wherein what might be the major influences that can occur again this is still a general reading but there is that connotation wherein it is still going to affect us one way or another because this is a general reading for each and every scorpios out there and i'm picking up on the major influences that can actually occur for each one so um for some people this might be very very general but it will have some form of message one way or another and for some of you guys it might be become very very specific as well so um you guys will be the judge of that so um yeah let's begin with our reading for this we have first the five of swords and i believe i've got this card through one of the signs earlier so we have here the five of swords the moon and the four of swords and you know having this combination right now i'm i'm having that thoughts were in you know your mind is very active and maybe you're having a hard time to sleep or rest but at the same time you're not really accomplishing anything or at the very least maybe you are wanting or desiring to to own something to make something happen but at the same time it's not really going anywhere because we do have the four of swords as the at, as the ending card of this reading not only that but we also have here the mice card at the very end of this lenormand reading giving me a stronger message wherein you know you might be lost and confused and remember it mirrors the star and the star and the mice is like you know maybe um some of you are being lost in wonderland or some of you might be you know some form of depression is stopping you or it could be an energy of procrastination and not really accomplishing anything but um the key here is to you know to overcome this and even though you might not accomplish anything concrete or anything big right now um doing things one step at a time is already a progress on its own because we are getting here that you have a lot in your mind and maybe this could be the time wherein you make a decision for yourself like um you make a decision that you're being true to what you feel because definitely with the heart and the crossroads over here this means that you make a decision and more of it's like you have been in a situation wherein you are stuck and undecided but it is coming to a point wherein you are going to make your final decision and you're going to act upon it it's just that you're not going to be acting upon that within the month of july it gives me that feeling wherein you are preparing yourself readying yourself um it's just that point wherein you know you are um about to enter a new job or about to apply to a new a new a new company you don't just go out there and go to an interview you need to prepare yourself um make yourself presentable you know m do a lot of you know studying background checks or really um mentally preparing yourself all those kinds of things it has that similar energy over here so even though that you might not see yourself being out there and about you are doing something in a very psychological level inner level because there's a lot of things going on inside of you your mind and your emotions is very very much in tune right now and it's very very strong so this is actually a perfect time for you to really think about what you really want to do what you really want to accomplish 
and what you really want to attain you might actually see that this month might be quite chaotic wherein you're giving in too much of your ideas you're giving in too much of your emotions and it might come to a point wherein you might get lost in the process that is a possibility um, because of the moon here the crossroads and we have all of this um, the whip card and the mice card here it's like something is holding you back basically or you know um it's at that point wherein you you have a desired goal in mind but it's like you're not really confident on how that is going to happen or if it's even possible at all so i do see here that there is going to be good sides through the month for you guys it's just that there's going to be a lot of internal work that is happening inside of you internally which other people may not notice at all you know you're very busy with your internal life so everything is being introspective for you guys though i do feel that you may want to express this like you are at the point where in your life wherein you feel like you need to do something that you need to take action but at the same time um this is really more about you gathering information and improving yourself and having that foundation for a new beginning in whatever venture that you are wanting to push through basically this is really um the essence of this entire reading so um we also have here uh the the third house activated with jupiter in the sign of capricorn and jupiter in capricorn um is not really a very um essentially it's not really happy in the sign of capricorn because jupiter wants to expand and capricorn is ruled by saturn which is all about control so this could be a situation wherein you cannot just speak recklessly so that's why you're maybe thinking or analyzing things on how you should do uh, a certain situation or how you should communicate it could be a situation wherein you know any conversations or communication that comes to you right now becomes of a, a serious thing or it could be you know something that is very slow it could be that you will receive messages or engaging communication very late in the month you know that kind of thing our advice card here is we have the true which is all about truthful information and this is all about ideas and inspiration so i feel yeah, that this is basically telling us that what you are feeling right now whatever decisions that you make right now you are being lined up into the right path into the right decision to make that is for you so this is not a decision wherein you are just being swayed by your own emotions even though that you can be quite emotional as well i just kind of feel that you know right now you are giving up yourself and you know more of your surrendering to what you are truly feeling and that is what will lead you to some to the truth that you actually deserve in this situation so um yeah this is my reading for you scorpios out there i do hope that this has given you insight and clarity into your situation and um yeah i'll see you guys again next month for your august 2020 love reading